sine theta, if you consider this theta now, here is A, is the ratio of the opposite, opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite, once you hear this word, trigonometry, what do we actually mean? It is just a word that is formed by two main important terms, which are trigo and metry. Once you see this trigono, it means a triangle. And metry simply means measurement. So when you are trying to define trigonometry, it's just the study of triangles alongside with the sides and the angles of the triangle. Let's consider this right angled triangle on the board, which is at right angle at at angle C. Okay, this thing here is called the theta, which is called the, seen as the angle. Okay, so we have the side, side BC, CA, and AB. Okay, so the side that is always facing the right angle, this is the side that is facing the right angle, is always seen as it's always seen as the hypotenuse. Then once we, the other remaining side, the name is always at, <coughs> can the side, the side that is directly facing the angle is called the opposite, opposite. And the other side, the last side is called the adjacent. Please note that if this theta, for instance, is here, this side will be opposite because it's directly facing the angle in question and this side will be what? Adjacent. So the position of the opposite and the adjacent is always related with the angle theta. Okay? So we basically have three trigonometrical ratios which are the sine, the sine, the cosine, and the tangent okay so these are the three trigonometrical ratios that we have when we talk about ratios you can see we are comparing two sides okay we use a usual acronym to get it which is called the soca tour okay which is showing you that the sign which is sine theta. Sine theta, if you consider this theta now, here is A, is the ratio of the opposite, opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite, if you consider this angle, is A. So we have is the ratio of the side A over, the hypotenuse is always the longest side and is always facing the right angle, which is what? Uh, C, you have it as C, okay? Then the next one is cos, which is ka, is the ratio cos theta. Cos theta is the ratio of adjacent. Where is the adjacent? Here is the opposite, and the adjacent is what? Uh, the adjacent is here, which is what? B. So you have it as adjacent is what? B. The adjacent, B. Adjacent to the angle, B. B. You have it as B over uh, hypotenuse, which is what? C. Okay? The C. Then you look at the next one. Tan theta is the ratio of opposite and adjacent. The opposite is A. You have it as A over the adjacent is B. You have it as B. So these are the basic three trigonometrical ratios we have. We also have their reciprocal, where you have cosine, cotangent, and so on. Okay? But these are the basic three trigonometrical ratios that we have. Bye.